Hey guys, Josh Bertrand here. We're at the Bassmaster Classic Media Day. We're getting ready for the big day. The tournament starts tomorrow. Uh, this is my second Classic. Uh, I was actually lucky enough to make it my rookie season, and uh, you know, going into that tournament, man, I was a nervous wreck. You know, I was really excited, and I was excited because it was on Lake Gunnersville. You know, it was one of the it's one of the best lakes in the country. But you know, rather than worrying and focusing on the fish, I was really, really concerned about not looking like an idiot during all the different interviews and shows and during the tournament. The second time around, you know, I uh, obviously you still get nervous. It's the biggest event in bass fishing. It's a, it's the biggest event of the year for me. But um, you know, I'm just happy to be here, and I'm really focused on doing well this time. You know, uh, I kind of knew a little bit more of what to expect. So just the schedule of events um, hasn't been so disturbing for me the second time around. I'm really, really trying to just focus on the fishing and get ready to catch a bass on Grand Lake. And uh, you know, what I love about this tournament is, uh, you know, Grand's another phenomenal fishery. And uh, it's, it's really a really level playing field right now because we've got some crazy water conditions. The water is much dirtier than normal right now. Uh, so, you know, there are some really good locals that will still have a little bit of a, you know, extra edge. But with things being not exactly normal, it, it brings the field a little bit closer to those really, really good local guys. So, I mean, I think it's anyone's tournament to win. Um, I'm really excited to get out there and fish. I mean, literally five bites a day. This is one tournament where you're here to try to fish for five big fish a day. It doesn't matter if you catch 20, you're only gonna bring five to the scales and catch 15 of the right fish, your life could change. So, I mean, it's super, super exciting. Um, you know, Grand Lake, it, it's a rocky lake. It's got some depth to it, but right now it's fishing shallow. You know, uh, one, I compare it a little bit to Roosevelt Lake back home in Arizona. A lot of you Western anglers probably have heard of or fished Roosevelt. If you take the brush out of Roosevelt, you've got Grand. You know, you also add some, there are a lot of boat docks here, but it's, it's a really rocky lake. Rock is the predominant feature on this lake. And uh, I've seen Roosevelt several times, you know, over the last, you know, in the last 10 years where we get big rains in the spring and that water's cold and muddy. And as it starts to stabilize and warm up, you know, the fishing improves. And that's what we're seeing right now at Grand. It's been a cold, wet winter. The water's been cold and muddy. Now it's stabilized and it's slowly creeping back up. And it's good for fishing when that happens. You know, those big fish come up and play. So uh, we'll see what happens, but I'm really, really excited for this week. And uh, I appreciate all the support from my Western friends back home. What, what's your target weight for the weekend? What's it going to take to win this thing? Uh, you know, I'd say it's, this is a pretty vague answer, but somewhere between 50 and 60 pounds is my guess. You know, uh, probably 17 to 20 pounds a day. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, but uh, my goal is to catch five fish a day. You know, I feel like I've been around some quality fish. I just need to be able to catch five fish a day. You're not going to win this thing if you weigh in, if you have a day where you only catch three. You better be catching five a day.